Hello, sweet children. Before I start, I uh, just want to point out that I've had some major audio issues with this video and I just gave up and now um, you're going to have to listen to me in my regular camera audio voice, which is not great. Um, so I'm just giving you some some early smooth talking uh, to prepare you for this monstrosity of a um, sound video. And also in the first bit of the video, I've got some lipstick on my teeth so that's good uh hope you enjoy that it's a thing i guess maybe some people are into that i'm not but that's where you go okay let's go to the bad audio party bye hello my sweet summer friends i guess um i am alive hi i've been promising to do this q a for quite some time but i keep forgetting to do it so now i'm doing it hello i'm here hi um before i start though i want to get rid of the elephant in the room which is that I have not been uploading regularly recently. And the reason for that is, you know, YouTube has always been a hobby for me. Not like, it's not a job, it's not how I make my money in any way. And I realized that a hobby should be fun. And having to like upload on a regular schedule has not been very fun for me. And it made me make my videos because I had to instead of because I wanted to. So, um, I realized that I need to take time for myself and then when I feel like recording a video, I just record a video. So, I'm sorry that I won't be like a consistent YouTuber anymore, but um, if, that's, is the, if that's what you care about, there's other YouTubers for you. But um, I'm just little old me and doing my best and that's it. I have a, I have a full-time job and, you know, it's hard to schedule everything in life things and I just want to have fun I want to make videos that are fun and I want to you know be fun so that's that's why um, I just don't want to give you bad videos that are forced I just want to give you fun videos where I can just be me and if that means it's not every single week on the same day then I guess um, yeah that's it <laughs> so that's what I want to start with but now I'm going to answer the questions you've been asking me that I still haven't answered because I am slow as fuck. Let's go! The first question is from Pinko VCG. Jeez. Do you enjoy playing VCG and would you consider making a video series of you getting good at VGC then vlogging you going around the world on your path to becoming the world Pokemon champion? It would be like Rocky but with Pokemon instead of boxing. Okay, listen, that sounds that sounds a lot of like a lot of work. Um I I do not like the VGC. I like the TGC, DCG. I am not a competitive player and I don't think I'll ever have the patience to become one and to invest time in becoming one because that is a lot of work. It's a lot of IV training and all this kind of bullshit that I just don't have the patience for. So I enjoy watching people play it. I think it's really cool, but it is just not my thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alex Fasciani asks me, what are five things that make you totally happy, completely free of baggage or anxiety? Th that is a question I cannot answer. <laughs> um, being with my friends is one. Um, I don't have many friends, but the friends I do have, I care about a lot and that's good. Another thing is playing vi a video game that I really, really like playing that I'll just be invested in. Recently I've started reading again, that kind of helps. And um, one, of the only, one of the things that makes me very, very happy is sitting around with my dad and listening to music we both love. Is that weird? No, it's not, it's great. <laughs> but um, completely free of baggage or anxiety sounds like a stretch and I don't know how to do that. So that's not, that's not even gonna try. How the fuck do you do that? I don't know. Adam! What's a gaming memory you have that you hold dear and what are your favorite Dutch treats? Uh, a gaming memory I have that I hold dear. There's not like one specific one, but when I was young, around like 10 and before that, just when I was young, every um, Christmas I would go on vacation with my family and um, my cousin and his parents. And my cousin and I would just like play Pokemon nonstop, Pokemon Silver, it was our jam. It was the only thing we ever did. We were just not fun to be around because we would just be looking at our fucking Game Boys the entire time and I think that's a good memory. It's not one specific memory. Uh, it's a good one though. And I remember one time my 
family and I went to Scotland and my brother took his PlayStation 2, was it? And we played a lot of GTA San Andreas and I was having the best time. I don't like GTA usually, but like we were cheating and just having a good ass time and uh, I really enjoyed that. That was a good memory. We were like in the Highlands and instead of looking at the Highlands, we were playing GTA because uh, teenagers. I'm pretty sure he was not a teenager anymore then, but I was, so what? What? Um, private number says, have you ever thought about streaming on Twitch? Playing Pokemon games, for example. Um, I have streamed on Twitch. <laughs> I used to do that all the time, but recently I haven't been feeling it. But here's a big revelation. I recently have been very interested in trying it again. So I might do that and then I'll let you know on Twitter if I do, but I might. I think, I think I'm ready. I'll, I'll try to be back at some point, but. We'll see! No pressure on me, please stop asking. <laughs> what Pokemon are you going to have as your companion in Let's Go Pikachu Eevee? Obviously, I'm gonna choose Eevee, but I say obviously because I love Eeveelutions, I don't really necessarily love Eevee that much, but um, you can't evolve it. And I love Raichu, so it doesn't really matter. It's just like, Pikachu is not my favorite. I think it's cute, but it's not like my favorite Pokemon of all the Pokemon. So I was like, let's go for Eevee. I'm going for Eevee. Timo asks me, which one of the unreleased Pokemon that never were would you want to become real? That's actually a really hard question. Um, the, un actu the actually unreleased Pokemon. I really like the water uh, starters that were in the, in the demo. And I... Uh, what do I like? I like the para, like the, the baby Paris Pokemon. I think that was a cutie. And apart from that, I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh no, the wolf, the wolf guys, the wolf guys. Yes, the wolf guys are great. I want those. Wolf guys. Would you rather be able to go whenever you want? I'm gonna guess that says, would you ra rather be able to go anywhere whenever you want or be vis invisible whenever you want? I would 100% want to be able to go wherever I want, whenever I want. That would be fucking the best shit because most of my friends live far away and I traveling is work and money and please let me teleport. That'd be lovely. <laughs> Wyatt, hi. Which do you prefer for swimming and or a day in the sun, beaches or rivers? Okay, listen, I don't like natural water that much because I think it's a little bit gross, but then again, so are pools. I think I prefer rivers and the reason for that is that I just don't like sandy beaches because the sand gets in all your creases. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. Um, and it's just gross. I don't like sand. And then again, a pebble beach is uncomfortable. So I'm gonna go with rivers. I would rather swim in a river, even though it's a bigger chance that a fish will touch your leg. I guess I'll take that. Ron Ham, what's your best childhood memory or the best vacation trip you have been on? Look, choosing a best childhood memory is a really difficult thing to do. The thing I said about Pokemon earlier is one. Uh, the best vacation trip I have been on is 100% my trip to LA, um, where I went to see my best friend. And um, that was the best time. I miss LA a lot, but there's also a lot of other places I still kind of want to go. So, um, yeah, LA was by far my favorite trip. How has the 3DS replacement been going? Actually, so good. Uh, I have everything that I lost apart from the covers uh, that were on the thing, but I have a lot of other cool covers. But all of my games have been replaced and my DS has been replaced. I have everything back that I lost. Even the case, like everything is, is back. Um, my favorite thing though is when I was at CoxCon and I lost my 3DS. If you didn't know, I lost my 3DS at CoxCon. It got stolen or it got lost, one of the two. Um, the first person who came up to me to give me a game was Patrick and he said, yo, to Hilda, you are five out of five. Sorry you lost your games, Patrick. And I, I think this is just the sweetest thing, he gave it to me, I didn't realize that was gonna happen and it was the first thing that got replaced, uh, it's Pokemon X and that was, that's very cute but my community fucking came together and everything was replaced within a week so thank you so much for that, you guys are insane but I love you. Heinz asks, how did you come up with the idea of rating all the Pokemon? Um, I don't actually know Honestly, uh, I just thought it would be fun. Uh, I did, had no idea what I was getting myself into. I just wanted to make videos about Pokemon because I love Pokemon and then uh, it just became a whole thing and it became too big for me. I don't know how I came up with it. It's been a while. I don't remember, but I'm sure it was because I had a revelation in a dream and um, Lord Arceus came to me and told me I had to or something. I don't know. What is the meaning of life? 
Asking for a friend. Uh, death. Is in and out as good as Alex says it is? Yes. At this point, how many pairs of glasses do you own? Um, I have two pairs here. One on my head, one here. There's one over there. I think I have four pairs of glasses that I actively wear and then there's like my old glasses. So in total I have six pairs of which two are old and I don't wear anymore. Yes, I have a problem. Um, it's not that bad yet, although I do have my eye on another pair of glasses once again at my work because it's hard to not look at them. <laughs> uh, Billy Wright asks me, what is your favorite controller? Controller. Not this one. I think it used to definitely be the Xbox 360 one, which I, I was a huge fan of. I didn't want to get PlayStation because I could not get used to the controller. Then I did get a PlayStation because PlayStation is obviously the most superior console. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I think it's still the Xbox 360 controller because it just holds well. It's like comfortable in my hands and I'm very specific with my hands because they're weird hands. Um, they're weird hands and I need, I need like a controller that's not too heavy and that's comfortable and I think the Xbox 360 controller is that. Uh, have you ever made up your own Pokemon? No, I have not. I'm not very creative. I am not good with Fakemon. The only Pokemon I ever thought of that has to exist is a Manatee Pokemon and then I just googled Manatee Pokemon and a lot of Fakemon that I liked showed up. So no, I've not made up my own Pokemon. I am not creative enough for that kind of bullshit. <laughs> Romandasil asks me, what is your favorite Pokemon type? Um, it used to be water, I think, but recently I have grown a big love and respect for grass type Pokemon. And I like ghosts, ghosts and grass. Yeah. Do you like Mudkips? I mean, they're all right, I guess. Old ass meme though, well done. What is your favorite dinosaur? I feel like someone already asked me that before and I don't know anything about dinosaurs so I'm just gonna go with the the big one with the long neck and the small head, the big body. You know, that one. What's that called? I don't know. And the last question for today is from Jordan. Uh, is there anything real? And the answer to that question is... Hell no. So... Thanks. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you learned something new about me today. Probably not because I feel like I already answered everyone's questions uh, in other previous question times, but uh, I just really enjoy talking about myself. So that's why I do these. And also because I, if I can't think of anything, I just answer your questions. Um, I will, I will return with more Pokemon videos. I promise it's just not gonna be as freak, frequent and it's just gonna be more chill, more me. I just wanna be able to be myself. So that's why that's the thing. Thank you for watching my Q&A today. J -d -blip. Yeah, that's it. Have a good day and also goodbye, I guess. And follow me on Twitter. No, don't do that. Uh, sub to my channel, I guess. We're on YouTube now. Yeah, do that. And goodbye.